Aisha, just run us through what happens next. I believe Cyril Ramaphosa will be elected in this afternoon. Run us through the logistics of what will happen now. Yes, um, since Mr. Zuma has resigned voluntarily, um, Mr. Ramaphosa automatically takes on the mantle of president. He'll be sworn in this afternoon, but it's likely that there will be then in the next few weeks um, a, an official um, election in parliament because that constitutionally that has to happen um, to elect a new president from parliament. That is likely to happen, as I said, in the next two weeks. Um, also likely to happen is the postponed State of the Nation address and the expected budget speech, which is scheduled currently for the 21st of February. So these are the immediate sort of effects of Mr. Zuma's resignation. Um, by resigning voluntarily, Mr. Zuma has, of course, also retained his pension and security benefits uh, under the constitution of the country. Had he been forced out of power through a no-confidence motion or through an impeachment process, he would not have retained those benefits. So he's obviously realized that it's in his best interest to, to, remain, um, to retain those benefits and resign voluntarily. But he's made it very, very clear that he's not happy about this, that he doesn't doesn't agree with the decision, but that he's doing so, in his own words, as a disciplined caterer of his party. And will Zuma and be held accountable for these corruption charges now that he is no longer president? Well, a lot depends on, on the structure of the criminal justice system, which has been so eroded in the last 10 years under Mr. Zuma's administration, particularly in terms of the, um, uh, the, the, the prosecution's element. There have been so many corrupt people in that office and so much of... Um, under the radar shenanigans that were exposed in a book last year, that there really needs to be a clean sweep of the Directorate of Public Prosecutions in order for Mr. Zuma to be held accountable. However, it seems that since the um, inquiry into state capture has now um, really gotten to include the arrest of the Guptas or one of the Guptas yesterday, it looks like there might be some hope that Mr. Zuma will be held accountable. However, we know he's a very, very street shrewd tactician and one doesn't know what discussions have happened behind the scenes that have uh, persuaded him to finally step down so while it would be unconstitutional of the ANC to have uh, promised him immunity that is that is not possible under our constitution the criminal justice process must take its course um, we don't for, for example know whether there have been promises that his legal fees would be paid and of course, all of this will be important in restoring confidence for the people of South Africa as well. Thank you so much for that. That's Aisha Kaji, an independent political analyst, live from Johannesburg.